Hello, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And I've been wondering for more than a minute now where all the sound was, so I'm glad to see that it has elected to return now that I've started the episode. Still a little strange that we don't have any uh, ambiance, right? But at least we've got some weather. So here we are in the unexpected chapter five and I'm just now seeing what could be an eye on what I believe to be the wishing tree but I figure we might as well talk to some folk first nice mask lady hey Ruth glad to see you made it back to Dersetto you too detective Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad. You mean there aren't going to be any floats or, or naked titties or anything? I mean, what else am I going to do? Go out in the storm? Ooh, do you have beignet? Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. Thanks. Gum I'll save it for later. Combo is also acceptable, Edward. Although, I would take it in a in a bowl rather than a plate. Especially since there's no rice to put it over, which isn't a typical way to eat gumbo any dang way. What are you looking for? Just keeping an eye out, Bordstone. Radio says it could be a wild one. It's here, buddy. What are you keeping an eye out for? Damage, I suppose. Wait for Miss Hardwood? No, I want to talk to people. Oh, she's got a little fleur de lis. impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. Really? Because it does talk to me. Does it talk to you? All right, tell me. What the hell's about to happen here? Every year we have a little turn-the-page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol... It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know? Just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change. But remain the same. You know, I think that if I was dealing with grief, learning that things change but remain the same might not be of much comfort. And what are you up to, child? Are you sponge bathing the tree? Hey, kid. What are you up to? Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint Mother. Okay. Well, the tree is sort of quiet, isn't it? Yeah, I don't hear any whispering at all. I suppose that's all I'm supposed to do, right? I don't imagine I'll be able to leave. How about that gumbo? Seems like everyone's in a pretty good mood. The Eve of St. John is the most important date of the whole year. It's the only day when the black goat of the woods tends to her young. So that's a thing for all you people, huh? Does that mean everybody's got more than one thing to say? Good thing I decided not to wait from his heartwood. You seen Emily around? <laughs> I saw her packing some things into that old jalopy you arrived in about an hour ago. I'm sure she hasn't given up on you yet. Alrighty. And how about these gentlemen, or rather this gentleman and this 
vegetable. Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. Does she still want to take Jeremy away from Dorsetto? I will have to insist that you do. This is not that kind of institution. Well, that wasn't what I asked. Jeremy, hang on for a little longer, okay? We'll be going back to New Orleans soon. Oh, good. I do so miss the city lights. Ah, there we go. Eventually, I can't talk to people anymore. All right. Well, we'll just do that for everybody then. Catch you later. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Detective. How many times have I failed to exhaust all of the conversation options with people? I'm gonna go look for Emily. Don't worry about her. She wouldn't leave without you, would she? Well, I'm pretty sure I was driving, so... Unless you gave her my car keys, it's not an option. Having said that, I'm pretty sure my car keys are not in my pocket. You don't know where Emily is, do you? She's packing some of Jeremy's things. Said she wanted to take him away. I'm sure she'll come and get you when she's ready. Should probably get a move on then. See you around, compare. You know, I think he's probably my favorite of the peoples around here. So, how does this all work? You dance around chanting for the ritual, I mean? Stay and find out, detective. It might just do you good. You haven't seen Emily, have you? No, detective. I haven't. And that's it for her. So this is basically New Year's Eve, but with a tree metaphor. Exactly. You're so smart. It's about starting again. I mean... Who could use a positive message like that and more than a bunch of lunatics like us? I get the feeling some of you think this year is going to be special. Any idea why? Well, we got some new words, thanks to your buddy Jeremy, and some other changes to the program. Let's just say we're all in this year. That's a strange thing to say when there was no indication that anything was at risk. What's your part in this? I'm the Cabri San Corn. It's very important. Only I can settle our debt. Hmm. You know, I had my doubts. You are in the right place, Grace. I think you might be right. For once. That's a very strange thing to say to a child who pretty much just told you she's going to be a blood sacrifice tonight. All right, well, I've talked to all the peoples. That was it for, for the little one, right? Yeah. So I guess it's time to wait for my patron. Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. 
It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. This man is not in control of his institution. Hell are their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever Hear their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. And take pity on us. Take pity on us. Are you crazy? I'd say that went about as badly as could be expected. I'm glad the little girl made it. Oof, stop the black goat of the woods. How I am I- I can't let that monster leave Dersetto. I have to stop it. What do you think you're going to do about it? Hmm? Carnage. I mean, you don't even have any drinks to drink. And you're not in great shape. Where am I going, even? Didn't it go up the stairs and into the... mansion? Can I go this way? Nope. Do I go this way? No. can't go that way. I don't know, Ed. We don't really have a lot of options here. Certainly hearing the whispering now. The little girl got out over there. Man, I hope I'm not on a time limit here. Seems like... Uh, I don't know. I'm not really seeing good options here. What am I missing? No? Uh, aha. Here we go. Oh, and is that a drink? I sure could use one. Good. Go ahead and just fortify that courage right now. And one for later. Much appreciated. Yeah, this is a hell of a storm. Good, good, good. Yeah, I hope this part reports okay. Cause damn. Alright, and then... Yep, there we go. Alright, they are... They're definitely stocking me up here. 
Shotgun shell. I think I'll stick with the shovel over the broken board. Thanks. You know, you're not what one traditionally calls a goat. Ooh. That's a cool mouth. I like that. It's very, it's very mouthy. Switch to something a little more aggressive. Gotcha. I'd like for you to go away now, please. What do you say? No? Gotcha again. I don't know if I was supposed to just stay here, but I think it's a really good plan. Crucifix. Well, how effective is that going to be? Alright. Gross. Oh, I got friends. Damn. Okay. No. Ouchies. Oh, wow. Okay. I think I should have been managing some crowds a little bit there. Well, that's it for that. Man! This is a tough fight. so close. I was, like, every time I was right on the edge of getting it. The techno... Oh, what the hell was that? I try to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? I kind of like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad.
All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. <laughs> Yay, I'm important. Don't let it go to your head, kid. So, I'm I'm not going to get scolded or nothing for lobotomizing old Jeremy. Case closed. All right, well, obviously we're gonna do an Emily playthrough next, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna leave you with the credits. I'll talk to you soon.